like you struggled to get the game on your terms after that, that first 15 minutes. Is that what it seemed was like for you? Yeah, I thought the whole game was a bit of a struggle for us, which, you know, coming into the game, they're such a good defensive team. You want to, um, yeah, you're not going to get everything on your terms. Um, for, for parts of it, it was a struggle for both teams, I would have thought. It was hard to score. Um, two good defensive teams set up good structure. and So then it became a bit of a territory battle. So, um, yeah, they kept winning a bit of the territory. Yeah, and uh, it made it hard for us to get it out of the D50. You think you might roll over the top late again, given the amount of times you've oh. done it? To be honest, I thought we would have stole that one. We we were in the better team. I thought they were much better in the key moments and um, key contests on the day. That yeah, would maybe another couple of minutes. You never know. Um, but yeah, I thought I thought we weren't brave enough early in the last quarter. I, I wanted to be a bit more like we saw in the last five minutes. Like this is, I'd rather lose by ten goals. I really would than than just sort of yeah, die wondering. That's always been our mantra. Let's let's not sit and wait and and ask questions. I just thought we were a bit too safe at times. But uh, credit to the opposition. Uh, um, you know, their, their contest and their defensive system is really strong. Yeah, well, there's two parts to it. I think um, their pressure and then, and then you know, handling those moments of what they're doing, they're coming at us pretty fast and then um, not connecting. We, we've, we've been the best team inside 50 the last four weeks in terms of connection. Today we were a bit off. Can you talk through reports of like illness through the, in the lead up to the game is how much of an impact do you think that that's had in the, in how today played out uh, zero yeah yeah zero is just like even the ability probably to the well, lack of ability to run out the game or, or anything like that well I'll have a look at the GPS and I'll compare individuals to what they've done I was really pr proud of guys like Bo McCreary like he, he was on crutches you know six seven days ago we come out of Perth and I thought oh he's no chance and, and it's moments like this to put yourself out there. He was right to the line and then, and then go out there and, and do your job. Whether well, he's probably just a bit down on what he can normally do, but um, we, we may need that come late in the year if we, if we get fortunate enough to qualify. Um, guys need to get up. They need to get up and then perform. So um, I was really proud of him and, and a couple of others that potentially may not have played. Jack Ginnivan, a load management issue? Yeah, there's a misreport. I apologise for that. We, we put illness and um, no, we're just looking after. He's had a hell of a lot of load and um, he's been you know, chasing his tail a little bit to catch up and we just want to look after him. How do you think your guys and, and the fans as well handled the Brody Grundy matchup? I said to the, before the game to the boys, um, yeah, I just put a photo of, of him up and um, I said, we, we all really care for Brody. There's many in the room who've got close relationships with him. He's, he had a great contribution to the Collingwood Football Club. Um, yeah, you make tough decisions, this management-wise, to what you think is best for the future. Um, we don't want any wrong, wrong by Brody. We, we, um, yeah, we want him to play well and perform well, which is not against us. Great. Darcy Moore hurt his ankle, came off a couple of times. First one was that contact with Fritch, then again in the last quarter. Is he OK? Yeah, yeah early reports are it's just a, a little sprain. It's um, swollen up a little bit. Um, we've, uh, I think we've got 13 days before our next game, so I'm sure we'll be all right. As well, and Neil Danaher with the, the Guard of Honour beforehand. What did all that mean? Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? Like, I must admit, I got a bit emotional watching it unfold. Just the, the, the inspiration he's been to so many. Um, they call it the beast, and yeah, unfortunately for, for many that um, get that disease, it's, there's no good outcome. So he's been such an incredible role model for um, living in the moment, you know, ticking off bucket lists and, and positivity. Like, oh my God, for a guy that's gone through what he has and, and fight, you know, he's nine years into this, this curse of a, of a disease and he's, um, he's been amazing. So, um, yeah, it was an emotional moment. I'm sure that anyone that was here would have uh, cherished it. How did you come away from the game? Is it a win you, that was coming, uh, sorry, a loss that was coming or do you just look at the contest? No, we never look at losses that are coming. Um, walk away with optimism. I, I think our best is in front of us. I, I, I look at things that we did today that we didn't execute anywhere near what we have been doing. Um, I thought that pressure was really good to force us into errors and we need to rise. It's, when your offense, it's, offense is good and you have really good defense, well, you have to go to another level. And I thought their defense was really strong today and we need to find another level. Um, against the best teams, you're not always going to get what you want. So I, I'm an optimistic guy. I, I see the best in front of us. So. Um, yeah, I don't think we play them again in the home and away, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, but, but I think we'll learn a lot of good lessons and we'll just keep continuing to get better. How are you handled by a few days off? 
yeah. for the bye. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we'll have some time off. I think we've got five or six days off and then get back to work um, Monday week. And um, this, is, this is a tough competition. There's no easy games. Um, boys get battered and bruised weekly and get up. And that's all it is, an opportunity to take a breath and um, reset ourselves. And I think if you said we were 11-1 at midway point of the year, uh, most of us would have taken that. Now it's just about yeah, setting ourselves up for what comes in the second half. Craig, you, your forward struggled. How much of that do you think was the ball, the way the ball came in, how much of that was the contest? I think it's it's hard to put a number on it, but I think their defence was really strong. I think May and, and Lever are really hard to play against. Um, yeah, we, we didn't move the ball like we'd want to move at times. We had to fo you're forced to kick to more contests, particularly when you're stuck in their forward 50. You have to take more contests, and we just couldn't equalise those. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't want to point fingers at anyone or anything yet until I watch it back, but... Um, yeah, we're going to have to get better at connecting inside 50 against really good opposition. Yeah, it looks like we... Well, I said he was available this week. Unfortunately, he jagged his finger at training. He was, he was all set to play and he, the same finger he'd operated, he just jarred it up a bit and we just um, we thought it'd be best to, to get him right for post-buy. So he'll be available. I think Jamie's a timeline similar similar, and Jeremy Howe might be um, yeah, pushing himself to get an opportunity too. So we'll see how that all unfolds.